I'm happy because look, is this a prerequisite of what we about to go through? I don't know because last year, this time, today's the 29th. You know, we was going into 2023 and I was happy and in great spirits. Shut up, computer. Damn, I'm trying to talk. In great spirits and all of that. And then y'all know what type of year I had, but whatever. 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 Um, so it's Friday. Y'all know that the new year starts on Monday. So this is our weekend before the new year. We got stuff to do. So look, I called myself. I went to the gym today. Today was my last lift. Actually, it was my last workout for the for the year. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be because I thought I was going to do some cardio tomorrow. And I still might, but I don't think so. Because we have to deep clean this apartment. I'm about to talk about that in a minute. But anyway, I went to the gym this morning and I took y'all with me. Because I filmed a reel that I'm going to put on the screen. Let y'all see. You know you can't handle music. But I filmed a reel of my last lift because I was so proud of it. I did 225 on my deadlift. Okay. On my, on my Romanian deadlift. Okay. Like, what's up? But um, I took y'all with me. <laughs> There was no memory card in the camera. Oh, my bad, my bad. So, sorry, but anyway, uh, yeah, I guess since y'all didn't get to see the last lift of 23, you'll see the first lift of 24. But anyway, got home, been real lazy, y'all. It's been a real slow day. I've done nothing but go to the gym and then edit the reel. Um, and I said I was going to go live on YouTube tonight because y'all know the last vlog I posted, I said that was the last video of 23. And then I was like, no, I should do another one. And then I was like, actually, I should just go live so we can talk and chit chat and flush it out. So that's what I'm doing live tonight. I will like vlog some of that with y'all. But um, there's my iPad right here. Um, we have to get this apartment ready for the new year my best friend asked me what i was doing because i guess she was going to come visit and i'm like girl no i want to do exactly what i did last year for my new year and my brother just invited me to a day party and i'm like no i don't want to do that i'm 31 and last year y'all i deep cleaned my whole apartment and then i was asleep by 12 a.m i remember i had a bottle of bel air and I ordered some food and that's exactly what I want to do this year. It was so peaceful and it was so nice. I'm not saying that I'll never like go out again for New Year's or whatever. But this year, especially with the year I had, guess what I want to do? Pray. Pray. I want to be on my knees. Not necessarily at 12 a.m. because I'm probably going to be asleep. But I definitely, the last thing I want to do before um, when I close my eyes to end this shitty ass year is pray. And while I'm talking about this year being shitty, let me just say the year wasn't the best. And let me stop saying it was like horrible because I know there are lots of people that had it way worse than me. This year was very challenging to me. But if I'm being honest with y'all, the first six months was okay. And it was a really, there was a lot of good like highlights of it. The last six months was... Mm, but it, it could have been worse. I don't want to just act like I had the worst year ever. I didn't. It's just not the year I expected. Considering, like, if I'm being 100% with y'all, my life been lit since 2020. So I guess it was my turn. <laughs> I've been lit since 2020. And I just thought it was up from there. And I know we got to go through challenges. But like I mentioned to my best friend, if nothing, this year was a character development year, baby. Because six months ago, the person that I was today, I was not. Like I told y'all, if nothing, baby, I learned to seek God. And I got 
keep stressing to y'all, it's not like I didn't believe in God. I did, but we did not have no relationship where I'm like seeking and talking and praying all day. I've never been that girl. Like something good would happen and I'd be like, oh, thank you, Jesus. And I meant it, but you know, or something would be going on. I'd be like, Lord, you know, pray a little bit, but that would be the end of it. But like, y'all, I, it's so crazy like I'm a girl that's listening to sermons like yesterday I was eating breakfast and I was playing a Michael Todd sermon then today coming home from the gym I played uh Sarah TD no not not that's not her name Sarah Jakes Roberts don't call her Sarah TD Jakes <laughs> Sarah Jakes Roberts I was like I've never been bro coming home from Tennessee from Christmas I was listening to a Michael Todd sermon and what's crazy is because I'm a music girl I'm one of those girls like don't call me I don't want my phone to ring because I don't want you to interrupt my music and now I'm listening to sermons in my car and I truly enjoy it and it's just so crazy to me because I never thought this would ever be me and I used to not make fun of people like this but kind of like side eye roll my eyes a little bit like oh god and it, may, it just gives me so much joy because I know that I'm doing it for me. Like, it's just, it's what I truly want. It's not because I want something from God or I'm trying to get him to bless me. No, I really just want to be in his presence. And it's so crazy because this, where did this come from? Ooh, don't do that, baby, because you know where it came from. <laughs> when your ass was sitting up here like, Lord, nobody can help me. Jesus, please take it away. That's where it came from. But like, y'all, I be listening like in the morning. In the, um, I, I took this from my mom. When I woke up last night in the middle of the night, I don't like when I do that. But I woke up at like 6 a.m. and I'm not getting up. So I turned on Joel Olstein. She sends me sermons when cause she get up at like three in the morning sometimes she'll send me a sermon and I listen to it and I'll fall back asleep. And I truly just love it. Like I love it. And it's just so crazy for it to be me. Cause like just six months ago, this was just not existed. It didn't exist. So it was a character development year. Um I've changed a lot. <sighs> And, you know, at least I'll be going into the new year close to God, close to God, closer to God than I've ever been. So I will say that. But, yeah, I don't I don't want to do anything on New Year's Eve, but get my house together, eat some good food and pray and relax. I'm very big. Also, y'all remember the soft life girls when we was talking shit like, oh, soft life, soft life. And I was one of the people. And that's because what they define as soft life. OK, yeah, sure. But I am practicing a soft life in 2024 but not that definition like I mean I have always been into you know massages and self-care but when I tell y'all rest rest I'm not finna be working crazy like I was this year because half the time I would be spinning my wheels stressing myself out when it is what it is and let me tell y'all something else that I learned this year because I would look at people like bloggers social media people whatever and you some people just like y'all know they blow up and they this and they that. And when you really look at their content, like really like magnify and look at it, they aren't doing anything special. No shade, no tea. The point is, it is what it is. And whatever it is, it is. And you literally, cause y'all, this is a lie. I don't care what nobody say, I don't believe this. Y'all know how they used to say, oh, if you upload on Instagram, anything, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, every day is guaranteed growth. I don't believe that. I truly, I'm, I'm truly dismissing um, hustle culture and that's with anything, not just social media, but y'all know that's my realm. I, I feel like, yes, work, do your best, but baby, it, it is going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> God already said what it was going to be and everything that is, it is, and it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. So don't be working yourself to the damn, oh, wait, did I tell y'all this? I did not tell y'all this. I got on threads with this. Listen. I want to tell y'all this and then I'm going to stop because I really don't be trying to beat y'all over the head with my religious like rants. But um, Faith Without Works, that bothered me and haunted me because I'm like, you know, Faith Without Works is dead. We got faith, but we got to work. We got to work. We got to work. Y'all, ain't that what they told us? Ain't that what you've been hearing your whole life? What about baby girl? And I'm about to use my iPad and do it. I, I was like, you know, I'm sick of this shit. Talking about some Faith Without Works, right? Matter, I can't. I want. Let me look at my computer. I looked up that doggone Bible verse myself, and that is not what it means. 
And hold on, let me go ahead and get my NLT version or the ERV version. See, I know the Bible versions now. That's crazy to me. I like NLT or I like um, ERV. So anyway, I'm going to open this right here. So this is James chapter 2, verses 14 through 26. Now listen, faith without good deeds is dead. That's what the, this is why I like the NLT or NRV version. Wait, NLT or ERV. Because you got to break it down. Y'all been saying that. I'm thinking, okay, that means I got to work for what I want. I'm going to believe in God, but I got to do the work. And I'm not saying you don't. But that is not what this Bible verse says. This is what it says. It says, what good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? See, so you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good deeds. It is dead and useless. So, Lord, Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus, amen. What I'm trying to get to, basically, is that faith without works has nothing to do with your damn whole truth. With your damn hustle culture. It's saying, I can't be like, oh, I'm a good person. I believe in the Lord. I follow Jesus. This isn't that. But I don't do nothing to show the faith that I have in the Lord. And what that means is no deeds. What did the, what the Bible tell you to do? Don't it tell you to help? Don't it tell you to forgive? You know, on and on. I can't be saying I'm missing, I'm that. And I, there's nothing to show that. When this whole time, I thought it meant that I had to work myself to death. And the reason I was so conflicted by that verse is because, you know, the also it says, um, let, you know, rest and be still. I am God. Let God be God. And I was like, well, how am I supposed to know when to rest and be still? And then faith without works is dead. Oh, that's because that's not what that means. And I'm just so happy and excited that now, like, I actually look into stuff myself instead of just hearing what people are giving you. Like, even when I'm listening to my sermons, Michael, Todd, or Sarah, it doesn't matter. When there is a Bible verse that they put on the screen, I open it up and I look at it myself. Not saying I don't trust what they're saying or whatever. I just want to read it myself in the versions that I'm used to, which is NLT or the ERV. NLT is the New Living Translation and ERV is the English, oh no, Easy Read version. Periods. Periods. So now that I understand that, that faith without works is dead is not what I'm thinking, I am going to be still. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be real still. I'm gonna be so still. Like, I'm gonna do what I know to do, and anything else that I, I look, let God do it, baby. I don't know. I can only do a little bit. So, anyway, because I done talked y'all head off this quick, this early. Oh, what I wanted to do was look at my, um, because I went ahead and put in my digital planner, like, what's going on this weekend, and then I have to get another digital planner because. <laughs> that's it like I can't plan anymore y'all when I got to the page that said week 52 I was like wow we're done like it really I've lived 52 weeks in this year we're done so um I did okay so tonight I don't know why I lied I did everything on my priorities which were going live and I did my real but I'm supposed to get into that office and clean it and I do need to because tomorrow baby ooh, I'm supposed to clean the office I guess we'll go start on it we got like two hours before the live <sighs> y'all tomorrow I'm not looking forward to it I gotta get into that closet y'all oh I don't feel like it y'all know how long I've been putting it off and I would do a little bit but I, I want every piece of fucking clothing in there I'm sorry I'm supposed to start dropping the f-bomb like that I dropped that when I'm like so serious I need every piece of clothing that I'm not going to wear that I haven't touched. I need it out. I need it gone. Gone. And I need to, yeah, that closet is, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And then I want to like also get the laundry room situated where it ain't that bad. So it's really the closet tomorrow. We're going to go to Trader Joe's because I want to make some banana bread probably on New Year's Eve. Or maybe tomorrow. And then on Sunday, y'all, I have, um... A true rest like a float I did it before my best friend got it for me for my birthday like I want to say two years ago where you kind of do the float pod thing and it's like a meditation thing and my ex-boyfriend bought it for me for my birthday this year so I was like let me go ahead and use it because he paid for it and I called them yesterday y'all I called them and was like yo look I got this gift certificate can you just take and see if it's still valid because this place is like all the way at McDonough it's far from my house like we're gonna be driving like 45 minutes and I was like I don't want to drive there and it's not valid and it was like yeah gift certificates pretty much don't expire and I was like okay but I don't talk to this person at all anymore so if anything's wrong I ain't nothing I can do so can you just scan the number I got on this page and see what pop up I was on the most because I'd be so pissed if I would have drove down there 
for nothing. Yesterday, y'all, I went and um, I got into the pantry and then the seasoning cabinet and I organized it and I'm excited because it looks so good. I can't wait to say this about my closet. That office, yeah, we finna go in there. It looks so good in here, but this is what I came to show y'all. Y'all see my seasons? I had to throw away a lot of seasoning that was old. I had to throw away a lot of stuff that was pretty much expired and old. Um, but this is my Kinder's. Um, look at me. Ah! I'm excited. Uh, this is the wood fire garlic. We're going to have more. Don't worry. Like this one, the only got two in there. So I can move it over here. This one only got one. Basically, I want probably at least two of these, maybe three. With nothing but Kinder's actually... Except for stuff like Italian and like garlic powder. I don't want to have any seasonings at all but Kinder's. So like no McCormick. Nah, baby. Just Kinder's. Hell no. Nah, this ain't mine. This is Lorraine's. I don't use that. At, no, baby. We don't use that. I do like my ranch, though. Uh-uh. I don't use that. That's terrible. Anyway, so I have the wood fire garlic. This is good, and I thought this was great. Until I came across this, and I'm like, baby, this one... Is y'all? I love this so much. It is so good, and I still haven't even used this because I think I would probably use this on seafood, lemon, butter, garlic, maybe chicken. But that one ain't even used. But that is my Kinder's like I guess lineup. And then I also got into the pantry, and yeah, everything is not even much in here because I it also wasn't that bad because I just did this not too long ago. I have way too much AHP stuff, which is crazy because I literally went through and got rid of a lot of my oxy shreds. And it's just like, why do I have so much of this? Um, but yeah, oatmeal, those, look at y'all, four boxes of my style and crisp. So I pretty much did everything here. I have to clean this office and like really get in there. I'm about to do that now. That should not take that long, actually, because most of it. It's just stuff that need to be thrown out and like the desk is a mess. I need to put stuff together. I'll show y'all. Um, y'all know I pretty much, this room is the room that be getting clean more than anybody else. So it's not really dirty. There's stuff on the island, but I know I need to mop real good and like dust where or wherever that where yeah, his cage is, it's filthy, it's dog hair everywhere. So like that, um, I cleaned my bathroom the other day so that's pretty good it's really thank god i started doing something lord it's really that closet that i'm not looking forward to tomorrow but that's pretty much all i'm doing tomorrow so you know just gotta make a day of it so i definitely want to talk to you guys about 2024 and some things that i'm going to be working on and gravitating to and doing but let me show y'all this so i have become a savage x fenty ambassador now and i got um my first pieces the other day but yeah i am excited about that it's like i, I don't know if it's like savage x fenty like the whole line like you know like because they have pajamas and loungewear or if i'm only going to get like their um activewear stuff but when i worked with them before on a campaign like it wasn't a continuous thing it was just like that one campaign um that little that lingerie jumpsuit that i did wear on halloween and it came through clutch y'all know when i went to the gym and i didn't really like the sexy gym pieces but that that blue one that they sent me like the blue sports set i absolutely loved and it was great and i wore it to the gym so these other two pieces that i have i'm gonna show you guys they're kind of like the same so i'm you know pretty excited about it because it was pretty good quality it looked good it performed well so i'm like yeah come up in it get up in it i do not do ambassadors uh, ambassador or affiliate like programs y'all know i work with ehp and that's it and i won't because when i was you know years ago i did fashion nova and secretly hated them and i was like well why am i promoting something that i really don't care for like that so i started being really conscious of like because when you're an ambassador or like affiliate like it's a long-term thing so i was like yeah no we can't do this for just any and everybody and i definitely Mm -mm, absolutely it gotta be something that i truly believe believe in <laughs> so i love me some rihanna though and like i said this the stuff that i got before besides like the sexy stuff and nothing was wrong with it i just don't want to wear it to the gym but see that jumpsuit came in clutch on halloween but yeah um it was really good quality so i'm not mad about it i'm excited about it actually and i'm excited to uh do more like with my instagram and tiktok because i was always one of those people that like you know i just upload whenever but i started to get serious more with my instagram this year 
and I started actually getting brand deals with Instagram because I usually don't. It's always YouTube. And the reason why that is like a thing is because, um, you know, YouTube, I'm just me. I get on here. I vlog. I oh, Let's go ahead and just talk about this as we on it. I've decided that this is a vlog channel. That's all that this is. <laughs> So, hey, unless you got some coins, I'm not doing shit but a vlog. And I say that because I got a wig I just got today, which I love. But uh, there has to be like a dedicated video, which is fine because I'm getting paid for it. And I actually do love it. So it's not like I'm just throwing it up there, you know, and I, just because I'm getting paid, I do love it. But I'm not doing no more like... I'm a vlog myself, like going to the gym. But like videos that's like... I guess exercise video. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that because I like to get on YouTube and like long form content, just talk and do my thing. Whatever I'm doing that day is what I'm doing and I'll show y'all. So if, I make, if I'm going to the gym, I might record it, but am I gonna do like, the last time I kind of did like a video that was not a vlog at all, it did 40K views and it was talking about like how I lost seven pounds in a month and with Oxy shirt and all that. And it was, that was all good and all, but mm -mm, because yeah, that's not, that video got so many subscribers, but those people don't care about me or my vlogs. They only want to use me for weight loss. <laughs> so guess what? I'm going to have my YouTube be very me-centric. And then I decided that my Instagram and TikTok can be more focused on, uh, you know, like a niche kind of thing. Because I do love making my active, re my, uh, my gym reels and stuff. I, I love going to record myself working out and cutting it up, making it look good. I do. But I don't want to do it for YouTube. And why really is not because of like, you know, the subscribers or whatever. It's more so because... Um, those videos are short and sweet and I don't like trying to drag them out because my viewers like longer videos if that makes sense so I can just short and sweet make a 30 second one minute long something on Instagram be done with it then trying to like drag out something on YouTube so anyway I need to show y'all these uh savage fancy pieces I'm because I will ramble y'all know I will okay y'all so I don't think I'm gonna put these on for you because we're running short on time <laughs> But I will show you the pieces. So, uh, first of all, it's a little dark in here. Let me turn this. All right. So, this is a legging that says Savage on it. And it even, ain't even no point in me showing y'all this because it's not available. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it and it'll be available then. Um, but it has like the Savage X in the back. And I just really like the Savage X like all on it. So anyway, um, I have everything in the extra large because that's what I had before. So it's either extra large or some of their stuff like the tops, I think, are numerical sizes. So 14, 16, but you can see it there. Um, the 14, 16. Yo, look at this. I, I'm a sucker for details. I thought that was so cute. It says it on the zipper. Ooh, I didn't even realize how much that zipped down, girl. This is cute, but everybody on Instagram, when I did do a little story just to announce that I was like, you know, partnered with uh, Savage X50, they really like this burgundy, um, the color, this little mesh kind of um, insert right here, and it says Savage X50 right here, and it's like a rubber stamp. It's really nice. I love some high quality stuff. Uh-uh. So, like, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm going to just say, like, Alphalete. Alphalete has, like, $60 leggings. Like, they're more expensive than Gymshark. And their leggings are super thin. Not in a bad way. I get why they're thin. But they're just, like, leggings that are thin. They don't have, like, what I mean, no detailing. So, like, you see how you have the mesh here? And you have, like, the rubber stamp here. Like, this is a rubber stamp. It's not going anywhere. And then, like, here. The like, there's just no detailing for that legging to be $60. And I don't like that. Like, why are you $60? Why? There's nothing there. Um, and then even here is like a rubber stamp and it's just, just the burgundy legging with the bra. Y'all, this stuff feels so thick and like I can tell, baby, no, nah, what is this? I was just about to say I could tell the compression going to be A1, but y'all, listen, y'all can. Did you hear how it changed? There's something, so this is the waistband, but there is something right here. Like, look, I'm holding it. There is something right here. I don't know what this, which, guess what that means? The compression. There is something right here. Oh, see? To, like, make you look 
snatched. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Or like was made aware of it. Now I really want to put this on. Ah, no, y'all like put it on, put it on. Wait, look at this. Anyway, I know y'all screaming for me to put it on, but I'm slick not supposed to. So I'm gonna act right and y'all better just, just be up on the IG. It's literally like this stuff going live on Thursday. I'm probably gonna post content on Thursday. Not Thursday, why did I say Thursday? On the third, it's going live on, oh, wait a minute, girl, you making plans. I might, but guess what? Yum gets neutered on the third. Oh, it's a lot going on next week. I think I'm supposed to have my sweatshirts or my sweatsuits by the third too. Ooh, y'all, next week is gonna be a work week. I have sponsorship stuff to do, I think. I have a lot going on. Um, I'm grateful for it because it's all monetary besides the dog getting neutered. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to put this on because it's we got to get into that office. If I have time before the live, I might. But then if y'all think I was going live like this, I'm not. I'm going to have to put my damn wig on. And I wanted to throw a little makeup on just a little bit, you know, for the live. I'm excited. All right, y'all, so we're coming in this office that I don't want to be in here. I don't feel like cleaning. I feel like chilling. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It's really, let me tell you what it is. It's really this stuff under here, which I don't know how it got under here because it's supposed to go here. I don't know. But yeah, it's really just me throwing away stuff that's cluttered and putting stuff where it needs to go. Um, And then like, okay, we could use this box for trash. Cause it had stuff in it, but it's empty now. Then these are all merchandise. Well, I slick could throw all these boxes away cause I have all of these like black cubby holes to put stuff in. But um, yeah, it's just stuff everywhere. It is like 67 in here. And I refuse to turn on um, heat. Oh, I do not like being against the light. It's always, look y'all, it's so dark in here that I had to turn this room like, I guess they was like, girl, during the daytime, it's bright enough. We don't have to give y'all no good lighting. Anyway, okay, fun fact. I've had my iMac for a year now, like in a few days, it'll be a year, but we set this thing up on January 1st of last year. It's so crazy that it's been a year, y'all. Oh, let me just go ahead and touch on this because I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna talk about it in the live. So, Rock sent a text message about like having a holiday party at his house. That's how I met the ex-boyfriend, if y'all remember, if you know, you know. And I'm not going because I'm not healed from that. And it was literally the same day and everything, December 30th. And that would just be in my head that this shit, my life really just, why did that happen? Anyway, I don't wanna go on no tangent on that, but I, I'm not I'm not healed from that. And I'm sorry, I love rock, but I can't. Cause I'm not healed and I have to do what's best for me. And what's best for me is healing myself and not going to place myself in a, a situation where I'm gonna be thinking about what happened and why this and why that. I don't need that. All right, so this shelf came down and now I see why I'm missing like the little notches to keep it up like what is see i don't know what that is y'all oh insurance cards from insurance that i don't have a sharpie pen look this is, oh i found it okay this my dad bought me this have y'all seen my georgia not georgia oh green bay packer little cheerleader doll i have to keep it forever because my dad bought it where's her stand here i keep her in here because i have really nowhere to put her and she won't mess up my aesthetics so i just keep her in here but it's fine long as i keep her right that's her little stand um so this is what i was talking about it doesn't matter this came out and why that's why that shelf fell but i know that um i'm missing one i only have three and i need four but three will do to stick it back up Okay, boom. So, y'all, I just have to, why did I put it back? Let me take it out. Cause it's just stuff. But let me tell y'all, I'm good at keeping stuff. Like I got this doll, my dad bought me this doll years ago. Like, y'all, blue locks years ago. <laughs> I have this Bible that my mom friend got me and she got it when I was a freshman in college, like before I went off to school. A freshman in college. 
Oh damn, this Bible 13 years old. I went to college in 2010, about to be 14 years old. And it is it looks pristine. You know why? It was never really touched. Um because first of all, I don't understand it, which is why I'm glad we have like our Bible app where we can go back and forth like through the different versions. But like right here, oh I didn't even know she did this. It has my name and her name. May God bless and keep you always. Oh my gosh, she dated it. 6 7 2010. My birthday is June the 2nd. Oh my God, this Bible is 13 years old. And it says, in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 6. Yes. Oh my God. This is my first Bible I think that anybody ever bought me. So I have to keep it. I'm really good at keeping stuff. So this is the authorized King James Version. See? No, ma'am. We don't. We got to do NLT or ERV. So, for instance, I'm going to flip to Hebrews. And then I don't like going through it. Like... So glad we got digital stuff because this is ridiculous. I do remember being in church and they be like, now if you go to the scripture, because don't y'all remember, like y'all know how now we have the screens and stuff. We didn't have none of that. So literally the pastor would tell you what to go to and you will be flipping through this Bible. That's crazy. And I don't even know what Hebrews is because I don't know my way around the Bible. Like for instance, oh, there you go. It's in the back. Okay. Is this, this the Old Testament or is this Old and New Testament? Yes, yeah, old and new because they say okay, cool. So Hebrews, what 11 1? So this is past the Hebrews already on page 1305. This is what crazy. Um, but I just want to see like what it says as far as like the exact verbiage in the King James because I don't do no King James, baby. All right, Hebrews 10, Hebrews 11. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's exactly what's on my phone screen. But mine doesn't say that. The NLT doesn't say that. Anyway, I understood that. Why does, do I not? Is King James Version hard to understand? Anyway, I have the version that I have for a reason, but this is like the first Bible, the only Bible that I have. I've had it for 13 years now, and it's like I said, in pristine condition. So we want to keep it that way and then y'all it's just so i have my and i turned this on when my brother was here like my my uh sony zv1 will it works i turned it on we'll keep that just in case anything ever happens and i need a backup camera i have this astrology book i have my high school diploma <laughs> i have these journals that i've never written in which is not good. I, that's another thing. I was going to discuss this when we cleaned out. Because I do have to declutter my bathroom. My bathroom is clean. But I want to go through my drawers and declutter. Listen to me. When I tell y'all this year I'm not buying stuff and over, over consuming. For instance, when we go through those things in the bathroom. You're going to see how many things I have that for no reason. The most, like, I just want, I, I know this, but I want y'all to see. It's so much clutter in there and it doesn't need to be. So for instance, first of all, I'm bald. Why do I have a drawer full of hair stuff? I mean, full to capacity. How much hair stuff do you need? Right. So I have these two journals and haven't wrote two words in them. They're like prompted journals. Why? Because my best friend bought me this for my birthday. Girl, so long ago. Did she write anything in it? No. And then I went and bought this one, like, I think this year or last year. But why? You didn't even use this one. See? Oh, there's another one, too. Where's the burn book? See? I bought this one, haven't written a thing in it. Burn after writing, haven't written a thing in it. And it's just like, I should, I guess. But for instance, it's like it's prompt. So this one says, this is who I am. Live for the now or plan for the future. Everybody seems to have their own idea. Listen, don't listen. Be where you are, be who you are. Everybody tells you these are the best days of their life. So, so much pressure. They're all wrong. Be where you are. Nobody else is really having more fun than you are. They're all just pretending. Then it says the thing that I'm working on that is big. My personality is six words. Like it's just little prompts. But why if my best friend bought me this one and I ain't write two words in it, did I go by these two? Why did you need all them? And they wrote, there's three of them now that you have not written in at all. And I'm just trying to see like, did I write in this? No, I wrote my name in it. And that's it. And that, why? Why though? 
why just over consumption i don't this is stuff lord now this is a notebook that i did use i am fearless and therefore powerful um it just got a little notes in it it's nothing it's just a notebook but like those bought that really irritated me y'all i bought this pivo i've used it twice i bought this in 2021 I lost the remote for it, then I found it. Oh, I was gonna say I lost it again, but here it is. I have a Pivo. This thing was like $120 or so. Oh. I, when, when have I used this? When will I use this? This is what I mean. It's so much stuff that I have, and you know when you move, you really figure out and find out because you're moving everything. So, but I already know, I just have so much stuff. Like, I, I've used this, like again, maybe two times. Y'all know how God said you got everything you need. You lack nothing? This is what he meant. This is a camera bag that doesn't get used. Oh. This is a tripod. I have thousands of them. I actually might go back to this tripod, though, instead of using that Sony one that I'm using now. Because I only bought... So, yeah, the tripod that y'all are on. I bought this Sony tripod because it has the buttons. The buttons stopped working on me. And this tripod, um, it is higher. Wait, how do I... I don't even know how to, okay, I don't think that's how you do it. I don't even know how to elevate it. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to go back to this. That is cute and compact, but this, anyway, y'all, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. I'm going to stop talking to y'all and just, but it's so much stuff. Look, cords for charging the phone, the love sack papers <laughs> probably need to be thrown out i have a manifest manifestation journal under here i have my master's degree <laughs> okay 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 let me get my life Y'all see how I threw, threw that wig on, child, threw some makeup on. It's getting hurt. Oh, girl. Girl, uh, this hair is so full. It don't look nothing like the wig I got today, but that's because that wig is straight. So now I got a long, straight black wig, and this one is like my fluffy hair wig. And she looks so good. Uh, and I put my necklace on. Did y'all see? Okay, I'm about to go live. It's there was this post that was like this girl talking about some there shouldn't be no such thing as plus size fitness or whatever and i'm gonna say this and then i don't want to really talk about it because this is not a video for this why don't nobody say anything do y'all know football players y'all know how athletic football players is y'all know how they work out like they have excruciating workout schedules like they run their body to the ground that's why they can't do it so long they're very fit and athletic but they be like 300 plus pounds and don't nobody say shit about that and I just, that was on my mind heavy. Like, why don't nobody say nothing about that? Or even like the sumo wrestlers. Like, why don't nobody say nothing about that? They're still big. They still fat. But they're still athletic. So, okay. Yeah, I didn't want to get on a tangent with that. But I just thought I'd throw that in there. So, yeah, I'm going to start one-on-one -on -one training because I need to stop being an imposter. 
And the reason I didn't want to do it was mostly because I didn't want to hear nobody with no like to the left ass comments but fun fact you still getting them so you might as well go ahead and do what you're gonna do because again people gonna do what they're gonna do uh so don't let that stop you and then second y'all i like eating i like food um i don't want like a lower body fat percentage more than i want to eat out so that's just what that is <laughs> but it has nothing to do with um my athletic abilities or how strong I am. Oh, speaking of, I did do 225 on a Romanian deadlift today and I was excited about it. But I'm still gonna eat. I don't know what to tell you. Don't care. Girl, stop flipping that damn wig like that lace ain't right there. Okay. <laughs> um, Let me get into these comments because now I done forgot what the hell I was talking about. Y'all know I am scatterbrained. Scatterbrained. So basically, let me go back to my Aisha comment when she was like, God makes no mistakes. Y'all know I've been trying to be real obedient and I really think that's what God want me to do and I keep telling him no because I'm like, no, I just want to make um, YouTube videos. That's what I want to do. And he's like, okay, that's fine. You can do that. But you need to do this and we can't go nowhere until you do what I'm telling you to do. I feel that deep down in my soul. So I'm going to do it because... I don't know. I just feel like that's what he want me to do. And then I keep getting a little confirmation about it. And also the fact that I really don't want to do it. I feel like I should do it. Because the themes of when I read and stuff. Or like listening to like uh, Michael Todd or whatever. I do not mean to get on here and do my Bible stuff with y'all. But most of the time the thing that you don't want to do is what God is asking you to do. And I, yeah, I don't want to do this. I don't know why. I just don't. But I need to. People want it. And I'm supposed to be serving. So use your gifts. Yeah, all of that okay fine i'm gonna do it all right moving on i don't want to dwell on that i ordered the book you've been reading yes discerning the voice of god i was looking at the links of the, for that on amazon and y'all really have been ordering the hell out that book like over a hundred dollars of orders for that book it's crazy <laughs> but i hope y'all like it it's abuse to yourself Oh, you mean people? I didn't know I was a people pleaser until stuff was like, you figure out a lot of stuff in therapy as you're talking and your therapist point out. So, for instance, about the party I just said, or like, last, so last year I didn't want to go. Why didn't I want to go? Because, well, I, y'all know I'm introverted. I didn't, like, I want to do this shit for New Year's exactly what I did last year because my best friend wanted to come and then my brother just invited me to a day party. I'm not going because I want to be in my house and make sure it's very clean. Then I want to light a candle, pop me some champagne, order out, and I want to pray. And I want to be asleep before 12 and like just chill. That's what I want to do. That's what I did last year and I really enjoyed it. But old me would be like, well, you, you know, your best friend want to come and you should let her come because that's what a good friend would do. And basically I would be putting my needs before her, not because I'm trying to please her, but because I feel like that's what I should do as a friend. But that's still a form of people pleasing because I should be like, OK, yeah, I'm her friend, but she's also my friend and she should understand that I want to do this for me. And, you know, it should be reciprocated instead of me just like, oh, I need to make them feel X, Y, Z. And like basically my feelings are devoid. If that makes sense, I hope I'm not rambling. Y'all know, y'all know I, I be rambling. Mm -mm. Protect your peace. I needed to vlog this. And hey, vlog, since y'all there, I'm finna cut y'all off. Cause I don't want, well, it's only been five minutes. But yes, I'm actually a certified trainer. <laughs> um, I got this in 2021 because I thought I wanted to train. And then I was like, yeah, I just want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm actually certified to train. I probably would never do let me not say never I do know that right now I wouldn't be one I wouldn't want to do like one-on-one -on -one trainings because that would actually take time away from content creation and that's what I really like to do like I really like making fitness reels and stuff and like of course vlogging uh but I can definitely do like virtual coaching and I was gonna do like guides and stuff like that and keep I have an accountability group right now and I was gonna keep like that chat opening all that stuff I just want to give people what they're asking for since that was a gift and I'm supposed to serve so yeah I technically am a trainer that hasn't been practicing in that scope of work how often are you gonna train like it's gonna be one-on-one -on -one, so I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna have I don't know I might do 20 slots 
and then it'll be like an app and then we'll like I'll do your workouts for you and we can like talk it's kind of like basically like an Instagram right but y'all know how fitness apps work okay y'all I was on that live for almost two hours but I want to show y'all my copper at home bowl so I take me some rice that I warmed up y'all know my little cup rice oh dang hold on y'all cause see I forgot I gotta put some spinach in it cause don't y'all know when y'all go to uh kava and you get if you been to kava and you get the greens and grains bowl right so we got rice and then if I can get my damn thing of spinach open then we have spinach now I don't put that much but I do do it raw just like how you do it at kava and then I put the rice. I was supposed to put the rice on top of it, but I will. Because you want, like, the hot food to kind of get on the spinach to wilt it, just like at kava. Anyway. And then I'm going to take, I could have just used this, but whatever. I'm going to use the rest of this ground beef that was seasoned with that good old Kinder's caramelized onion butter. So, at kava, they don't have beef. They have, like, the lamb. Um, what else? They have the lamb, the chicken. They got some of those. I don't know though, cause I always get lamb. And um, I always get lamb or I guess I have done chicken. Now I had, I found a can when I cleaned out my little seasoning cabinet. I found this can of uh, fire roasted diced tomatoes and I would add this, but I should have like put it in the ground beef. So, oh well, I'm finna add, so we got the, the grains, the greens, the meat and then I'm going to add some pickle onions just like at Cabo. You could add corn if I had some. I got some feta cheese just like at Cabo. And I don't have that much. I was supposed to get some more at the store y'all and I forgot but we finna use what we got here. I'ma add the Kinder's sauce and this is the prime steak with black truffle and butter. I wish that I had, I wanted to kind of, so it'll fall down. If it'll sit up there. I wish I had the garlic one, but let me tell y'all, now I gotta sit against the camera. I'm trying to get the sauce to, you know, fall down cause it ain't that much in there. Y'all, why Sprout sell the Kinder sauces for um $8? I know, I just know these y'all on sauces is not $8 that Publix. I just know they're not. I know they're not. I was so mad. Because that's just ridiculous now. Um, Sprouts, you're getting ahead of yourself. I'm over here looking in here see if there's anything else I could add. I could add the Chili Crunch oil, but... I want to. So I'm just stop. And then I'm going to add the pickled onions. Just like at Kava. You got Kava at home. Kava literally ain't nothing but some type of lettuce base, spinach, you know, green base, rice, and then um, a protein, and then like other little veggies and toppings and sauces. That's all it is. And then if you want like Kava's sauces they actually sell like the kava crazy feta and tzatziki and all that at whole foods so you literally can't have kava at home and then if you want to be spicy you can get you some little pita and roll crisp it on up cook it put it in the air fryer and have pita chips with it i am so sad about my um my garlic yes i'm gonna have to buy some more oh it's all gone that's it. Ah! It looks like this. Now tell me this ain't Kava at home. Tell me it's not. And it is so good and so simple. Somebody asked me to show this. Um, so I was like, yeah, I got y'all. Because I had to eat it tonight anyway to eat the rest of that ground beef. So look, we're going into the new year. Eating and doing right. I promised on my live that I would cook more. Because I should be anyway. Mm, 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 mm. Don't play with it. That is so good. Also, I want to show y'all these little cake cups I got from um, Sweet Savage Sweets. 
I have the Instagram on the screen in the description box. So one of my subscribers actually makes cakes and she makes cookies. And if you're in like the, the DMV area, you can go to her or whatever. Or she can do like delivery. But y'all know I live in Atlanta. So she sent me like some cakes in these little cups. And look, this is a strawberry crunch one that I done dug in. But this lemon one, it is so good. So y'all need to go ahead and support y'all black businesses and get y'all some cakes, cookies, and sweets. Because you know you're going to go to Publix and buy them from the damn bakery anyway. And support one of our own, okay? That's what we need to be doing, supporting each other. Because we know that 2023 was not lit. But, <laughs> hey, we're not going to dwell on that. So, anyway, I'm about to go ahead and, ooh, I'm about to watch me some black cake. And then, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all get in that closet. Y'all, it's 1 o'clock. And I need to get up and start on this closet, and I don't want to. And this is what I do. And it's something I don't want to do. I just try to act like I can ignore it. But this is what's going to happen. Don't clean the closet. Fine. Nobody can force you to clean the closet. But you're going to be pissed when it's 4 o'clock. And you said you want to go to Trader Joe's and all this stuff. And you, it, yeah. And the, yeah. So this is what I do. Also, the days that I don't go to the gym because it's Saturday. I just, it's like if I don't go to the gym, which is why I go. It's like a free for all. Like I have no structure without the gym. Like I just been laying here scrolling. I actually woke up at like 7. 7:40, and I was like, "Baby, nope, today not the day for that." Cause I told y'all my body usually just wakes up at 8 a.m. on its own, and I'm like, "No, ma'am." Mm -mm. And I didn't even go to bed till like after 12, and that's not you know usual for me. But I also ran out of melatonin gummies. So <laughs> anyway, um, I was like, I had only cause y'all know I played my. I actually was playing it right before I came to talk to y'all. My little um water sounds anyway so i got six hours of sleep and i was like no nah, that ain't cool so i i was up from like 7 40 to about an hour to about like 8 30 ish or whatever and i went back to sleep and then got up at like 11 30 and then i just been not doing anything because i don't want to get into this closet so i need to do it but before i do that i want to come and talk to y'all about uh, irritation so i don't know what y'all didn't hear or see as far as the live but i still think i mentioned to y'all anyway about like me starting training i know i had to because i was running my mouth all day yesterday so much that we done used up almost half the damn memory card and i still got today and tomorrow to vlog but um i was saying about like people saying stuff like about me training and i don't know why that would keep me from doing it but i didn't want to go through it it aids to my imposter syndrome blah 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 right so somebody commented on my video about let me i actually want to read it to y'all because i be my blood, I really, like, I know that, um, my blood pressure is high because of stress. I just know a hundred percent that, I ain't gonna say that's the only reason, but, I, bro, I, I am a very stressed individual because I'm always, I'm, because I'm easily overwhelmed anyway. And then, I don't know, like, I could feel my damn blood pressure rising going through this shit this morning so somebody commented and was like i know you aren't concerned about your fat percentage but what about the fact that you have high blood pressure i'm sure you know dietary changes and weight loss can help it get under control plus size fitness is cool as long as health is good which yeah but no so i said okay high blood pressure running my family my doctor told me my doctor literally told me that she didn't know what to suggest me to do because she usually tell patients with high blood pressure to exercise daily but i already do that um now for i now for oh sorry can't even read my own damn message because i'm so high strong now granted i don't eat the best however i do eat better than most people my age and race we all have to go from something so yeah i I know I don't eat the best, but baby, when I tell you my point is basically, don't just sit there and be like, this is why I have high blood pressure, because there are people that are heavier than me that don't have high blood pressure. There are people that eat McDonald's every day that don't got high blood pressure. It just is what it is. And my doctor didn't say, hey, you know, if you lost some weight, she really didn't. She did not go there. She was like, I don't know what to take to do, because I usually tell people with high blood pressure to work out daily, and you do that for the most part, like you, not every single day, but you know. Anyway then this person gonna go and it doesn't matter what they said to this point like yeah we all gotta go from something but you ain't gotta speed up the process this is what got me healthy organs should outweigh your outer appearance i ain't never say nothing whoever said anything don't 
be making it seem like I'm glorifying that as long as you look good that you are right because I never said that I never said that okay so I said this is what I said uh comments like this is probably why my blood pressure is high side eye emoji my highest weight was 250 and I did not have high blood pressure so for you to assume my weight is the culprit is baffling yes baby i was 250 pounds at one point now granted i fluctuate let's say between 225 to 230 which is we're gonna just say a 20 pound loss right y'all know i'm bad at math yeah my blood pressure was not high at 260 i mean 250 i just found that i had high blood pressure last year Ooh, fun fact though for real when i thought about it last year around this time i got down to like 221 22 22 guess what that's when i found out my blood pressure was the highest when i was the lowest weight that i've been in a decade now mind you that low weight didn't last long because you know i'm gonna eat but the fact is at the highest weight it wasn't high so for you to just automatically assume because i'm heavy heavier than a, and let's just get this straight because i'm real sick of it we are black americans <laughs> most of us here most of us weigh the same way that i weigh do we not please correct me if i'm wrong my mama weigh the same way that I weigh. My mama, me and my mama weigh the same. We don't look the same. Y'all finna start acting like this is the thing. I think it's just because I am a workout person that y'all assume you know that my weight should be smaller. But let's just take if we took away the gym from me, like if I never worked out and I never talked about a gym ever a day in my life, y'all wouldn't look at my quote unquote weight like me being heavy. You know why? Because most of y'all weigh the same weight as me. So that's why, this is exactly why when I really break this down and now that I'm thinking about it, and I, this is why I do like talking when I'm vlogging, because when I talk and I vlog, it's like I be working out my own shit. So this is exactly why I have imposter syndrome and why I don't want to train, because granted, I'm not that fucking heavy at all. I'm like average weight, for real, for real. And even my average weight size, I look better than most people that weigh my weight. No shade, no tea. It just is what it is. And I know that's because I lift weights. But y'all only look at me as being quote unquote heavy because I work out and, and I shouldn't look this heavy, I guess, or be this heavy because I work out. But if I didn't ever go to the gym and I never said nothing about the gym, y'all wouldn't even be coming to my channel saying nothing about nothing because I am average fucking weight for our culture. Not the little B in my chart that's at the doctor, but for the people that's watching this video, actually my targeted audience. Now, if I'm wrong, please correct it in the comments, but baby, don't do that. Okay. All right. That's my TED talk this morning. Actually, with that being said, I kind of just want to drop the mic and like end this vlog. Just kidding. Let me get into this closet while I'm in good spirits, Lord. Oh, I don't want to do this. So my bathroom is clean. Let me show y'all. Y'all gonna be like, but you said it was clean. It is. Y'all, if y'all just on, if your girl only knew, shake the leg, shake the leg, shake the leg. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. This is clean, because if you know me, you know. But I do have stuff out. Like, I was messing with this wig, so I had my flat iron out. Not my flat iron, my hot comb, you know, get the, the part laid down. Anyway, then I threw the wig off and put it on here. So it's really clean. It's just, I left it up here because I know I'm going to put it on day. And then this hat is up here, so it's clean. But um, it's just stuff out here. I cleaned the tub and all that. Everything is clean. Of course, I need to do laundry. Um, I guess today is Saturday. So, yeah, I should probably start on the laundry today and go into it tomorrow. Um, or even if I just do it tomorrow. But I'll probably start later a load or something. Um, now, I don't want to overexert myself because I told y'all I wanted to be real chill. And, yeah. But this is what I meant by me being bald. I don't know why I'm bald head and it's all this damn stuff in this hair drawer i want to go through and talk about how i'm an overconsumption person like this ain't a lot of lotion to some of y'all but the fact that why 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 i don't want to be this person in 2024 we don't need all of these like why can't i have let's just say two maybe three lotions right and when they run out we'll go get more we don't need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we don't need that many fucking lotion we don't this is wasted money it's wasted i don't
don't want to be an over consumer. I don't. I do not. I had like at one point like five body washes in my shower. I don't need five body washes. Granted, sometimes you know you want a little variety. I get you. I get you. Cool. So I I, I already got that down pack. I didn't buy no more body wash until I started using it all up. So this is almost gone. This is the only body wash I had like at all and then Chelsea got me this that's the only reason why it's two and I'm good with two then I have my private area wash <laughs> because I don't put anyway doesn't matter I don't need to go so I have my the moist the dub that I bought that's just like the regular dub it is low if I was to go and buy a body wash today I wouldn't be mad because that's almost gone but I don't need like two or three more no 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 I say two at the max three because you know again sometimes I want to might use the cucumber I might want to use the peach two at the most three but you don't need four or five and I know I'm talking to some of y'all because I know some of y'all got about 10. You don't, you don't need it. Then my mama is great for this. Well, it, it won't spoil like you can have some under the counter. It's not going to go bad or, or you can wait because you don't need to stock 10 damn soaps. It's not going out of business, I promise you. I promise you. Anyway, now I'm looking under here to see because I just need to go under here. So what's under here? I don't have any more soap. Uh-uh, wait a minute. Cause I had a dove um little scrub thing. Oh see what happened to that? Did I use it? So this is another reason why I wanna go under here because I don't know what I have and I don't. Cause I could have sworn I had like that dove body polish under here, but I don't. I swore it was one under here, but it's not. <laughs> okay, um, all right, y'all, bubble bath. Okay, so it's, you know, this isn't that bad, really, because I don't, you know, I have my big old pack of razors, which I need. What is this? Oh, that's the top for those. Anyway, I have bleach, which, of course, I have color. Okay, this ain't that bad. That hair drawer is the one. And then, I didn't show y'all this one, because this is not that bad, because I kind of just did this recently. The hair drawer got out of line again. I don't know how, considering I'm bald. But this one was like a little junk drawer. And like I said, I kind of got it under control. These, I don't see. Why do you have two? Like, why? And then, I have my sloths, but they supposed to be in a little containers. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Then I have, like, my razor. You know, this is that bad. It's really that hair drawer. Ooh. It's that hair drawer that needs her ass beat. <laughs> and then let me tell and then like there's no way I'm being able to do this in two days. I, I should have started before, but I didn't want to. Still don't want to because I told y'all I don't like to clean. The vanity I cleaned off and I cleaned the brushes, but I did do my makeup yesterday. But I wanted to go like in here and get this together, which shouldn't take that long because I don't have a lot of makeup. That's one thing that I got got under control a while ago because I don't y'all know I'm not into makeup like I used to be. I used but I had so much makeup I had to throw away. And now I don't have to do that no more. But I do have some things I couldn't part with that I don't even use. For instance, like these eyeshadow palettes. But I could not. It's a Gemini palette, baby. I couldn't throw it away. This ain't even been opened or used. I showed y'all that. I have a few eyeshadow palettes that ain't been used. I ain't used this. This NYX Off Tropic. Like, y'all see that plastic film on it? Ain't used it. But I, I can't throw it away. And I don't want to give it away either. I'm sorry. I have some palettes in here that I'm just not throwing away. Then I have all these lashes. Granted, y'all know I gave up lash extensions this year, but I don't see me doing this no more. Like, it's, this ain't me. I really like my natural lashes. I'm 31. I done grew up. Y'all done matured. I done matured. That's funny. Yeah, I don't see me doing this no more. I don't. Don't see that for me. Um, but anyway, this drawer right here is so much stuff in it. I don't even know. But then, y'all, so this drawer has so much stuff in it that something done got trapped back here. And I can't take this drawer out. But I need to get it out because I'm pissed. Because, look, y'all, it won't close. Because it's something back here. And I don't know how to get it out. When my mama was here, we tried to, like, see if we could take the drawer out. But we can't. And I need whatever it is. I don't want to tear this up, Lord knows I don't. But I need to be able to close this drawer. And I need to know, I want to know what's back here. And this is my Roman Empire for the day. 
if it look anything not to get in that closet because i swear i was not just supposed to take y'all back there to that closet anything not to get in that closet bro i need to know how can i y'all let me turn my phone flashlight on and see if i could like see something because i don't understand Yes, I do. The damn drawer was full. Like, it's full now. And you just stuffed something and I done flew back there. Like, I didn't need to keep the cover to the damn Gemini palette. Why? Throw that away. Then I got all these. I have so many bottles of Lexapro. This shit needs to, yep. Yeah. I can't. Yes! Y'all! Yes, I see it. Guess what it is. Guess what it is back there that's keeping me from closing the drawer. A damn pack of lashes. This. The same shit I said I don't even need. So if I can see it, I could get it out. Okay, why didn't I think of this before? Again, y'all like me just talking and I like getting on here to just talk because I told y'all I'd be working out problems. That's crazy that I never thought of this before. Okay, so all I have to do is reach back here to this side and try to grab that lash. I can't with my hands too fat. Boom, watch this. Find somebody to play with, because don't play with me. Find, find somebody to play with. This is crazy that I really did not think it is. Okay. I got um, anything not to get in the closet, y'all. <laughs> okay. I just need to try to... This is going to take a while. I might need to get in the closet. But I have to get these lashes. Y'all, this is harder than it looks. I promise you. I can't... Damn, the spatula won't reach all the way. Oh, how am I going to get this pack of lashes? At least I know what it is. Okay. I'm not gonna let this pack of lashes defeat me. I sure hope we don't run out the memory card on this damn log. Uh, I'm not gonna let this pack of lashes defeat me. Hell no, come on. Wait. Y'all, they, come on, I got it. Okay, how do I flip it? Ah! Y'all, I dropped a hanger back there. No! I have to get this, my hand won't fit. I can get the hanger though. Y'all. I go. I'll update y'all. <laughs> y'all, I broke the dresser drawer. I popped the back. I guess we can get the lashes out now. Damn it. What is wrong with me, y'all? Look what I did. <sighs> oh my God. Which, yeah, we can get the lashes out now. But look, do y'all see these pieces of glass all on the floor? This is crazy. This how we doing this? Look at this. Oh my God. I should have just left it alone. Let me see what I did. Oh, girl. Y'all, I cracked this whole damn. Oh my God. This whole thing is gonna shatter. Do y'all hear? I'm never wearing lashes again in my life. All because of the lashes. Y'all, what do I do? I mean, I basically should just take it off because I've already shattered it. Well, we can get the lashes out. Oh my God, there was a palette back here too, Lord. Y'all, I'm finna get glass everywhere. What? You know, okay, so let's talk about why this happened. Overconsumption and unorganization. Because if the damn dresser drawer wasn't filled to the brim shit wouldn't have been fucking sliding back there getting stuck i didn't even know this was back here lord i still can't get it come on it's almost didn't even know this was missing this is what i mean because i didn't even know this was missing it's that morphe 35 35m didn't even know this was missing And that's what I mean by overconsumption and having too much. Didn't miss it at all. So that was back there. Now there's a hanger back there and lashes. Here's the hanger. So what I did was I just kept pressing up against this, thinking that I was gonna break the hanger, but the hanger was, st now that's crazy. Cause I was gonna say, I guess the hanger was stronger than this, but y'all know these hangers breaking like it ain't shit. But of course when you want it to break. Now y'all, the lashes are still back there. That's crazy though, I didn't even know that palette was back there. 
I wanted this damn desk so bad because I wanted my room to be black and gold. And this desk ain't did shit but caused me stress because um, some perfume fell on it and chipped it. And glass got everywhere. And now it's shattered again and glass is everywhere. And it will not. Oh, damn, I'm moving. Because I about to say it won't make it to the next apartment. But that's sooner than I think. Oh, my God, Lord. All of that for some damn $8.99 lashes. So I just pushed it back in, like push the nails back in. I guess it'll be fine. But see, as soon as we try to move this, like to move it, it's not gonna make it. Okay, I have to worry about that at another time. Gonna push it back and never touch it again. And, oh, I know you lying. You better close. Oh, I saw you better close. Y'all, this shit still ain't closing. What? What else? I swear this was not supposed to be like this this morning. Y'all, it's some more damn lashes. I swear I'm never wearing lashes again. Lashes was the cause of all of this. Why do I have so many? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Why do I have so many of these anyway? This is what I mean over consumption. Y'all, no. There is, no. I am pissed. And there's some more over there. Y'all, there is like five packs of these. And this is what I meant by overconsumption. This is exactly what I was talking about. And I'm not doing this. I'm done with this. See? I'm done with this. So, these lashes are $9. We're going to do nine times five. That's $50 at the tax of lashes. $50 just wasted. Stop overconsuming shit. Stop. You don't even, like, bro, you didn't need it. At least it closes now. After I done broke my damn desk. Oh Lord, got glass everywhere. Stop over consuming. Hey y'all, I'm back with my wig. <laughs> All right, so I did clean out the closet today, y'all. It didn't have to take as long as I made it take because my tail was on the phone. But, ooh, Y'all, how about we don't talk flowers back up? That's not who I was talking to. He texted me this morning and was like, good morning. And I didn't respond because I haven't talked to him in like over a week. And I'm like, so then he just called me like an hour ago. And I'm like, should I call him back? And the person I was on the phone with was like, no, not if you know, like you're not really interested or whatever. But, you know, I still haven't learned from the last time apparently. So I think I am. And I'm just going to like wait and do it with y'all when we get in the car because we are still trying to go um, to Trader, F Trader Fuse, the Trader Joe's in Marietta. I want to show y'all the closet is, yeah, stop over consuming. Like, I'm serious. Y'all seen the lash stuff and the whole makeup thing that happened. Y'all don't want to over consume in 2024. And I know that when we get into that bathroom and like look at all of the hair products, it's just going to get worse. And like the lotion, like we don't need all of that. Stop. So look at this, y'all. A lot of these things are new or been worn like once like these though these cargoes I never wore and didn't return it back to Amazon tag still on them knowing they was too damn big when I was trying to make myself fit into cargoes what are these some of these are like halal items that didn't fit that well right so like tags on them well I can't control that like y'all know I got that for free but y'all I'll never forgive myself for buying this sweater from somebody trying to support them look at this damn sweater why they charge me $60 for this look at this it doesn't even look girl that's another thing that's that people pleasing i was talking about on the live i don't know if y'all seen it or not i'm a recovering people pleaser i do not like rejecting people and i don't know why to the point where i don't know if i told y'all this but i have class pass and i was doing my boxing on class pass right and i let them talk me into just like signing up a plan with boxing outside of class pass and i knew i didn't want to do that why didn't i want to do that because like just now i got charged 50 dollars for class pass yesterday Ain't box, ain't did nothing. And uh, like, no, I don't even really, I want a box, but I want a box at my leisure. So I'm playing for class pass and I got a boxing membership and not, when the last time I boxed? Like I did box, I think like last month, but before that I hadn't even boxed since July. And if I would've kept it on class pass, it wouldn't have mattered. Cause sometimes I go to Pilates, sometimes I box, sometimes I use it to get a massage. But I let the guys like talk me into it cause I just didn't want to keep telling him no. Why do I give a damn? Do you think he even give a damn about me like he doing his job this is what i be talking about like me and my own issues we gotta stop like i bought that sweater trying to support somebody knowing i didn't want it 
but I wanted to support their business and that's fine but $60 for some shit I don't even want and I'm about to go throw it out like give it away anyway let me show y'all this closet y'all didn't know what it looked like before but it was a mess <laughs> so it was clothes all up here that are now hung up and I have so many hangers now because I like ditch so much stuff so this is all my like lounge I'm in the house or if I'm not in the house but maybe I'm just going to the store like this is all low yoga <laughs> lounge where that cost me a lot of money y'all see the tags is still dangling like I don't know where I would wear that I guess like let's say you was going to the movies like you don't want to dress up but you want to look presentable I didn't drop the leggings I had to pick them up so this is like lounge wear that's like kind of active wear but I'm not going to the gym in this stuff then these are all my shirts like these are mostly like little t-shirts and I wear a lot of bralettes um then these are actual shirts these are long sleeve shirts sweaters okay shorts pants jeans well really mostly jeans then we get into the pants uh sweatpants and then down here are like my sets and my jumpsuits so um y'all all of this was filled up with clothes because i had already started like putting clothes right here that i didn't want so for me just to be able to walk in here i ain't been walking here in a long time so these are all jumpsuits and these are like rompers which are jumpsuits that are shorts these are dresses you know stuff like that and uh purses that are on my little shelf and then like coats and jackets and then y'all know like my shoe tower that i regrettably feel some type of way because i haven't been able to add to it because I'm too busy buying stuff that I don't want, like $60 sweaters. Why would you do that? All right, so I am going to go and try this place called Cheapskate, which is like Plato's Closet, but they're supposed to be a little better. Try to give some of the good, like, you know, the clothes away that's like real new and stuff. Um, but I need to also go through this active wear closet real quick. It shouldn't be much in here. Actually, I don't think it's nothing in here that will be worth going to them. If I have something in here, it probably needs to go to the Goodwill. Yeah, because I don't have... Yeah, oh damn it's dark. <laughs> I don't have no active wear that's not like raggedy. So if I don't want my active wear, it's raggedy. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. We're also gonna go to um Starbucks because I told y'all that I have gift cards that I got for Christmas for my friends. That made me that warmed my heart. And my best friend and Dana got me a Starbucks gift card. And I felt bad because I didn't get anything for them. But oh, I don't celebrate Christmas and I haven't had anybody get me a Christmas gift like outside of my auntie or something in a very long time so I was just unprepared feel bad about that anyway let me look okay yeah I am on track I'm on track for like my to-do list I did the closet the room it ain't that much to clean the laundry room ain't that much to clean that's all on the list boom we on track then tomorrow we got our little spa appointment we have to do our hair. Then we got to get into the living room. It really ain't that bad. Because I did most of the work. We got to mop the floors. And then go do the bathroom organization. Boom. I'm so proud of myself. Because I didn't think I was really going to be able to get this done. And I'm getting it done. I'm getting it done. Okay, y'all. I dropped my clothes off at um, Cheapskate. Y'all, I've never been to a Cheapskate. I don't know if y'all know what that is. Uh, Marsha actually... Um, recommended it to me and it is way prettier and nicer in there than a Plato's Closet. Like I actually will probably want to look in there and shop. Whereas Plato's Closet, I'm like, baby, nah, you can't do nothing for me. I'm about to get, y'all, they better have my sugar plum. Dang this, I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Thanks for choosing Starbucks, Bob. I'm gonna what's yours? Amelia. Hey, Amelia, what can we get for you? Um, do you have your sugar plum Danish in stock? Oh, no, that's done for the year. It's done? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, okay. they like they like uh, ripping people's hearts to shreds out here, you know. Yeah, I didn't even get to try it. Oh no. Okay. Um. Well, I'll take a venti uh chai iced. You got it. Can you add sugar cookie syrup? Oh, one hundred percent. Sugar cookie syrup. There we go. Anything else? No, that's it. And uh. Amelia, right? That was your name? Yes. All right, thanks, Amelia. It's going to be 7 to 5. Thank you. See you at the window. I can't believe that Starbucks did me like that. I never got to try the doggone Sugar Plum Danish. And this is why I be telling y'all to live your life because the reason why I never got to try it is because, you know, oh, let's not get it. It's extra sugar on top of, you know, we doing this. And now look, I missed my chance. I don't think I've ever had it. And now I won't have it for the rest of the year.
So I gotta wait till next year. All because I was worried about the what? 300 or 400 so calories that it was extra when I was gonna eat that in something else anyway. See? See? Now I done missed out. I'm good, how are you? Doing great, it's gonna be 7.05. Get my Starbucks app. Using Starbucks? Yeah, oh, I have a question. I have 25 stars that expire on the first. Yeah, let's see. How do I use them? Let's see if we can knock off a syrup. Oh, y'all, I didn't even know y'all charged for syrups. Yeah, it's like a dollar. <laughs> well, the sugar cookies more than the average syrup. It's like a dollar extra. So I didn't know that. I, th I think we can use that to take the syrup off to save you a dollar. Okay, so what do I do? Just oh, you just pull up your barcode and then I scan your account and I can pull up whatever whatever stores you got. All right, so yep, I can use those 25 stores to take the dollar off. That brings you down to five ninety nine. Um, do you want to charge with your Starbucks or are we doing a card? I have a gift card. Okay. All right, Miss Amelia, you're all set. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did y'all know that Starbucks charged for syrups? <laughs> Cause I did it. I don't, girl. I just order what I order. I don't know. But yeah, I need. I, I'm glad that I at least wanted to use my stars because I earned them. So they didn't get to go out. You know, they didn't get to be in vain. See y'all, I'm being more conscious and aware, and I'm. I'm finna stop over consuming because that thing that happened earlier y'all i'm really finna still complain about that because if i i wouldn't have had to broke my dresser broke my dresser break my dresser if i wasn't over consuming because why do i have five boxes of lashes why i don't think i'm ever gonna wear lashes again i don't see that for me unless there's a shift in trends or something like i really do like this whole natural look like even when i have my makeup on i don't know i'm really liking wearing the mascara instead of having the lash extensions and i'm not saying i won't get lash extensions because i might but i really don't see me ever in life ever again putting on them big ass lashes like that that is done oh lord jesus i don't know which one better the child with the sugar cookie syrup or the matcha Jesus, it might be the chai. Mm. Mm. Oh, they smelt my name. They spelled my name right. Y'all know how many people be messing up my name. They be spelling it like A-M-I-L-I-A, no E or anything. I want y'all to see. Come on. Yay. They spelled my name right. This is so good. Okay. I need to go to the Trader Joe's. Actually, I I'm gonna go back to Cheapskate because um they close it. Let me see what the Trader Joe's is. I told her I was gonna come right back. Well, I am because I'm just going to Trader Joe's for a little bit. But I might wanna. What time do Trader Joe's close? Cause they don't be wanting you to leave like that at Cheapskate. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, I'm really close to it though right now. I'm literally only four minutes away. So I guess I should go ahead and go to it. This worked out so great because y'all know I wanted to go to that Trader Joe's in Marietta and I'm over here by it and I went to the Cheapskate. I'm, li I'm literally less than a mile away. I should just go to it. But what time do it close? Because I'm not in a rush and I don't want to be in a rush to try to get back to Cheapskate. You see what I'm saying? I'd rather parlay. Even though I don't plan on getting nothing much from Trader Joe's, um, I want to get the banana bread. That's really it. Was it just the banana bread? Mm -hmm. And I don't have no food to eat later, but Gusto got a new plate, a lemon pepper chicken, and I might want to get that. I don't know. So, yeah, I want to parlay with Trader Joe's today. Um, the, oh, it was already pulled up. Okay, <laughs> look, y'all. So, as I'm driving, I see the ad for it. Like, I'm passing the Gusto, and I see, oh, you know, try a new lemon pepper ranch. And what do I do? Of course, look it up. So, it's right there on my screen, and it looks so good. I haven't had Gusto in over a year. It might be two. So, that sounds really good. But anyway, let me see what time Trader Joe's close first. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and just go back. They close at 9, fine. And then I'll come back here and go to the Trader Joe's and get my banana bread. Well, I feel like it's something else, but it's not. I know I said if I saw any more box of Stalin Crisp that I would buy more. But I don't think I am because, girl, I got four boxes at the house. Um... 
I think I might want to do a charcuterie plate tomorrow, like during the day. Because tomorrow we are going to our spa thing at 1.30. And that's it. Uh, I got to make sure I get me some Aste Spumante. Because that's what I want for like my champagne. And that's it. Like we're not doing anything. So... I might want to get some stuff to make a cute charcuterie while we're in there doing like the rest of our cleaning. I'm not about to play phone tag with you. Yo, stop playing with me, yo. Come see me. What? What the fuck you doing? What? L listen to how you talking. Man, I ain't give a fuck about that, man. What you, I'm trying to see you. What's up? Oh, well, um, I don't know how to tell you. I'm busy. I'm at the store. All right. So when you're not busy, let me know. And grab your ass and all that. No, what the hell? I haven't even talked to you in like over a week. What's wrong? That's with your you? fault. That's your fault. Wow. Okay. That's your fault. I know. Merry fault. Christmas. Hi. How are you? How did you? What, what Merry you, Christmas. What you no, do for Merry Christmas? Christmas and shit. <laughs> what? what? Merry Christmas. Shit. All right. Mm -mm, this is ridiculous. You supposed to have been? No, you supposed to have been in my bed a long time ago. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I ain't that crazy about that, man. You playing. That. You, must be got, you must got a little boo or something. No. Not even. Not you know, even. Don't be playing with me, yo. I mean, I'll drop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dropped as far as I'm concerned. I ain't talking to you in like over a week. What you talking about? No, no. I'll drop your ass. I'm playing with you. You already did. No. I don't know. I can't forget about you, girl. Mm-mm. 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 You at the store? Mm -hmm. You about to get some New Year's outfit or something? Uh, the grocery store. I just need Oh, grocery store? Uh, what you doing for New Year's? Nothing. Praying. <laughs> Praying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you don't miss me? I was going on, man. No, so. hell no. I, I just was like, okay, well, another one bites the dust. What? Mm -hmm. Man, I definitely gotta drop you now. Wow. Man, I gotta put you on your ass. Wow. I, Man, mean, I gotta put you on your ass. I haven't yeah, talked you to you, so I mean. Got long hair now? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that shit off. The hell you. Yeah. <laughs> Why you figure you gonna see me with long hair? I'm gonna pull that shit off. Why would you do that? Listen, listen. Listen. Hear me out, right? Mm hmm. Hard reset. Hard reset. I knew that I was gonna title this vlog "Hard Reset" way before, but after everything that happened today, with the overconsumption, just all this stuff, these men hard reset. Hard reset. Did y'all hear that conversation? I had to turn the camera off because he was being ridiculous. At this big age, mind you, this man is almost forty years old. Like he's thirty six. This is insane. And you know what's crazy? Because I was having this conversation earlier today. I feel like that men approach you the way that they do because it has worked before in the past. Which makes... Because it's, cause it's too damn bold to not have... For you not to have already tried this. Which makes me say... What women is allow, what woman is allowing this? Who, who going for this? Because baby, wow. Wow. Hard reset. Uh-uh. I can't wait to show y'all what I got from Tradarius. I can't wait to show y'all what I got from Tradarius. I can't wait to show y'all what I got from Tradarius. And I'm doing all that. And it ain't shit in here that's groundbreaking. <laughs> I just, when I be like in high energy, I try to take full advantage of it because y'all know some days ain't the best days. So when I'm up and I'm up, it's stuck and it's stuck. Okay, cool. So. For dinner, even though I'm not hungry, I don't know why I'm not hungry. I had breakfast this morning. It's the same breakfast I always have. Hash browns, an egg with chili oil, and some chicken sausage. And then I had that coffee, and it's all I've had all day. And it is, ooh, baby. I still ain't fixed that clock. It's almost nine o'clock, it's 8.59, it's nine o'clock. I don't know why I'm not hungry. But we we got some for that, we, we can fix that, there ain't no problem. What was that mean where it was like, y'all remember that, that ain't no problem. That Shannon Sharp, damn. Do y'all remember where the money reside? Where the money reside? Where the money reside? Oh my God. Life used to be so fun. We're going to get that back. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, for dinner, I'm sorry. I was holding this in the knee show, y'all. I heard so many good things about this and I've never tried it. It's a flatbread and it is burrata, prosciutto, and arugula. And I know what prosciutto is and I know what arugula is. I guess burrata got to be a cheese. 
Burrata cheese, yes. So, I didn't get a charcuterie board. Y'all will find out in a minute why. But I'm gonna have this for dinner, um, I guess. And um, I got this, cause I've been wanting to try it. And I'm gonna take like a little taste. It's a cannoli dip, which is basically just like some damn cream cheese filling. What is it? Literally the first ingredient is cream cheese. Okay, that, y'all know I'm just doing the most. Okay, I got that. I got what I went for, for this banana bread. I guess I'm gonna make it tomorrow because I don't really feel like making it today. I might have to make it tomorrow anyway because it, it said it needed vegetable oil and my mama came and fried the damn pork chops, y'all remember? Yeah. So I didn't know if I had vegetable oil. And she said I had some, but it was a little bit left. So I'm not sure if it's enough left for the banana bread. So, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, girl, there's more than enough left. What she talking about? It's more than enough left, but I still don't know if I'm gonna make it tonight. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I went for the banana bread because I had been craving it. So let's go ahead and eat it because I really do need to get back in the. Don't let me say no routine because it's not like I'm ever gonna do it again. I just had a craving for it and then I bought this and I forgot I bought this and I wanted to try this. I was gonna get the winter wassail punch because I just wanted like a little fest of juice because I'm gonna stop drinking my calories. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have Olipop, but I really need to stop drinking my calories, y'all, because let me tell y'all what y'all girl been doing. Y'all girl been having lemonade, and the lemonade might be sugar-free. But then I've been putting this damn strawberry syrup in it, because I got the idea from TikTok. I need to delete my TikTok. And this damn syrup is 190 calories per four fluid ounce. It is horrible. It's so good, it's nothing but sugar, but yeah. I gotta stop. So I was like, bro, stop. Now, occasionally, especially because I got that gift card, I'm gonna take my little tip Starbucks. But I gotta stop. Like, I need to throw that out, and I hate to do it because it was like $10. Or I have to use some self-control. Like, I really cannot be messing with that. So, anyway, I wanted to have the winner with sale punch to just be my last hurrah, but they didn't have any more. So instead, I got this triple ginger brew, which I'm excited because I do like ginger drinks. So, I'm gonna try that. Y'all know we go to Trader Joe's to try stuff. And I want to bake it tomorrow for breakfast. I guess I'm gonna have breakfast because my appointment is until 1.30, so I should get up and have breakfast because I don't want to be starving. Anyway, yeah, I, I want to bake it. I was tired of them chicken sausage. And then I got me some more mango slices and I don't know why the lady at Trader Joe's told me to try it with this cannoli dip. I think it's gonna be disgusting, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And now the last couple things in here, let me, I just want y'all to see this because I wish we was on live or something. Oh, speaking of before I do this, I think I want to do like a food series live. Like a, like we eating, maybe I'll cook some food sometimes, right? And we eat it on live. Or like we can just do like mukbangs on live. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea, but y'all seem to like when I go live and I really do like real time talking to y'all. So that was just a thought, okay? You know? You know that we just now got back cool. Yeah, because your ass getting neutered in a couple of days. You don't even know what's coming. When you had that cone on your head and they see it, what you gonna do? Anyway, so I'm gonna take the rest of this stuff out of this bag, these last ingredients. And I just, I wish I could hear y'all through the camera. Ooh, I wish. Y'all gonna know what it is as I start taking the ingredients out. You know, y'all know we need this in the morning. But. <laughs> garlic clove y'all we're doing we instead of doing the charcuterie board tomorrow we're doing the mussels and ciabatta bread once again i needed this anyway y'all know because i use this but we're, i got the garlic clove we're doing it again and because i am aware of the time i'm gonna roast this i'm gonna roast this i know y'all said make it smaller i might even put this thing in the air fryer i'm gonna look up roasted garlic in the air fryer we're doing it we're doing it. I might not use, I don't know if I like, I want to do the recipe right, but y'all, that butter and that oil together was a lot. But I'm also on my last thrill of, you know, yay, before the new year. But anyway, yeah, I know y'all cussing me out when y'all seen this stuff. But that's what I got now. Let me deal with my dog. Do some more like getting together because I was supposed to go to the laundry room and clean the laundry room, clean up some stuff in my room. I know I'm finna go to bed soon or like get in the bed soon. So I probably got another maybe hour and a half of productivity. But I'ma definitely come holla at y'all when it's time to try the actually I wanna open this now, slick. Girl, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey, do it. 
do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. What is wrong with me? Look, this dog came running over here. Probably asking the same thing. What is wrong with this girl? I'm about to go ahead and open this and taste it. Um, oh, and I'm supposed to taste the cannoli dip. Oh, I'm tripping. And then I'm gonna go and use my energy that I have to clean some more. And then I'll come holler at y'all when it's time to do the flatbread. So I can let y'all know what it's hitting on, what it look like, all that good stuff. Y'all know we we shares our treats over here. Oh, this is good. It tastes just like a ginger beer, which I like ginger beer, so. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let me try this cannoli dip. I'm just gonna take some out. It's tasty. Then I'm gonna taste it with the damn mango. Cause I just feel like that was absurd for her to suggest that. But oh, this kind of runny. It ain't thick at all. Oh, I could put this on that banana bread. Oh, this is so good. It just tastes like mmm. Oh, this is good and dangerous. We can never buy this again. Oh man, that's gonna slap with that banana bread. You do not have to make all that noise. You know I ain't been messing with you because I was mad at you. Sit down, young. Sit down, it's coming to you. You don't have to do all of that. You can, no, god damn it, yum. Hey, no, you cannot, you cannot eat that plastic. No! Yum! Oh, I know he's gonna pee everywhere. Yum! No, no, no! Did he just eat the fucking plastic? Y'all, my dog just ate plastic. He fucking ate the plastic. Oh my god! I didn't want him to pee. He ate the plastic. My dog just ate the fucking plastic. And he just sitting there thinking everything is okay. Nigga, you just ate plastic. You ate plastic. Oh, I gotta call my stepmama because I know my mama don't know. Oh my God. This is what, see, this is why I call him young. This is why I cannot believe. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> I have a question and you was the only person I thought to call. Okay. Um, don't you know like if you have something, whatever, like let's say a dip, and then when you first buy it, it has a plastic like cover over it and you take it off, like a thin plastic cover, right? Right. A piece of paper. Uh my dog just ate that and I'm panicking, but he literally ate it like it was nothing and he's fine, but I'm like, should I be concerned? It would be the same as him eating a piece of paper and I would just watch for it to come out in the stool tomorrow or the day after. I can't, so I was letting him, like, I opened up this dip, and it's like a cream cheese dip, and I was like, okay, he was looking at me, I was like, you can have some, I let him lick it, and he took it from me, and as I tried to get it back, he just hurried up and ate it, he ate it, <laughs> and I can't, I'm looking at him like, oh, you don't know what you just did, and he's like, I'm fine, he over there drinking water now. <laughs> Now, hopefully, did he chew it up or he swallowed it? Okay, y'all, I got the laundry room together. I washed all of the towels and the sheets that was in there that need to be washed. I came in here and cleaned off my vanity completely. Purr, we love her, we love her. I'm going to have to repurpose this and I think it's going to go in the bathroom somewhere tomorrow because the bathroom is going to get re-organized like, tomorrow. And look how beautiful she is. I cleaned out all like the powder and the makeup that was in here and like put everything in this organizational place so that... Oh, hey, don't you be playing with me. Everybody's closed. Y'all, this don't look that great. Oh, look. We don't want what happened last time. This don't look that great, but um, at least it ain't open and whatever. Look, <laughs> God, dog on it. All right. So everybody close. At least they close. Tomorrow is the last day of 2023. I can't believe it. I'm so excited, relieved, and happy. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, we're definitely gonna do church in the morning. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna go do our little spa thing, and then we're gonna come home, do our banana bread, all of that stuff. Um. Watch me not end up eating that doggone bread tomorrow. Like, the 
the oysters and stuff because I know I'm going to order me some takeout food. Um, but anyway, to, we're going to mop the floors in there, make sure the kitchen is clean, which it's pretty clean, but so mop the floors in there. Then we're going to organize the bathroom and wash all the clothes in the whole house. Would be yes, I did that. She did that. In other words, if you really got faith, you can see what you don't have. But because you have faith, you got what you got faith for because you got the belief that it's already happened. That is why Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things unseen. Substance, substance, substance. If you got a substance, you got it in your hand. You're looking at it. It's in your hand. You know you got it because you can feel it. You can see it. You can touch it. But it says now faith is the substance of something that you don't see. This is an interesting choice of outfit for the 31st of December, is it not? Is it not? Y'all see my beanie? <laughs> well, y'all know I'm just like this. I'm about to go to my folk spa appointment and I have to get in a pot of water. So, I mean, I guess you can get in there naked. Fun fact, I don't remember what I did last time I went with my best, when my best friend got this for me. I'm pretty sure I had on the bathing suit because that don't even sound right to me. I wouldn't get into it naked and it's like salt water. But anyway, so I have my bathing suit on. I hope y'all not gonna judge me because these are the sweatpants that I had on yesterday. And I'm about to put the sweatshirt that I had on yesterday right back on. And I can't wear a wig because I'm literally about to submerge myself in water. But we about to go. But y'all know, that that sermon this morning so we're gonna just skip by how was that literally the sermon on the last day of the year and the lord no he knew that's what i needed to hear like i cannot believe before we leave this year that i just again i don't want to i don't want to do too much on 2023 because it was a character development year it was but for him to give me my hebrews 111 message on the last day of the year Okay. Okay. Hi. Y'all, I am really wondering if we're going to need a new memory card in which I'm worried about the length of this vlog because I've never used a full memory card and then like needed another one because we only have 35 minutes. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be filming too much today. So what's going on right now is I'm, of course, going to the, uh, the spa appointment. I have to get my champagne. Um, I don't know if I stay, but my taste actually champagne. Whatever. That's what I want, though. So I'm going to get that um, after the appointment. I need to go to the hair store. Cause we got to do so what are we going to do with our hair? If y'all thought I was going into the new hair looking like how do y'all want to see what my hair look like under this? Wait, I really want y'all to see. Let me get out the shades of the tree. Oh, then I got my camera to just look at this. <laughs> Y'all, did it look the light is just like do y'all see this? Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Okay, girl, put this back. Yeah, I gotta do my hair. So I'm doing my hair. I still have to go through the organization of the bathroom. But I need to get stuff for my hair. I need to get my champagne. And then I remember that I don't have a pan for my banana bread. So I couldn't have made my banana bread last night even if I wanted to. Because I don't have a pan for it. Because um, don't you remember last time when we made it, uh, we had like the pan that was... You know disposable so i had to get a pan for that i wrote everything down so yeah i gotta do that then i gotta get back home and finish the cleaning which again is nothing but the floors really need to be mopped the kitchen ain't really dirty but you know do that mop the floors um oh organized bathroom so with all that being said though i was like am i really gonna eat my oysters and like toast because i need to have an appetite for my good food that i plan on having later because i think i've been deciding what i wanted to eat since friday Last year, I think I had what I want tonight, which is crazy because I don't remember, but I'm actually probably going to go back to a vlog and look. I remember one year I had Ethiopian. Like, I just been wanting a good meal. Last year, I think I got hibachi from this place by my house, and they have sushi too. God 
Damn, I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna get a sushi roll and like do a hibachi plate. And I'm pretty sure I did that last year. And I don't care. And it's not because I did it last year. I really, that's what I had. A, I have a craving for. I've been having a craving for it since Friday. But I was like, let's just see if it changes. And it didn't. So. So, yeah, it's just, it's not a lot going on today. And that's exactly how I wanted it. I wanted to get this, um, this, um, spa thing out the way mostly because I don't want nothing from 2023 to come on into 2024 with me especially regarding old relationships so let me go ahead and use this first <laughs> and then number two is like it's really meditative the first time I did it y'all y'all will see it I'm gonna show y'all like the pod and everything I got a little freaked out because it's like pitch black and you're in this pod and it's pitch black and there's no sound it's completely silent and dark and I did get a little like what the you know but maybe because I'm in a, and I couldn't close the pod all the way because I was very claustrophobic about it so I don't know and I'm not even claustrophobic but it was freaking me out so maybe this time because I'm in a better headspace or whatever we'll try and see but this will be a good like meditative maybe the Lord will speak to me while I'm in this pod that's what I'm really hoping because it's it, quiet for an hour you are not you just there with your thoughts Maybe the Lord will speak to me. I'm gonna pray. So I'm gonna use it for that. So that's why I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm excited about it. Okay, y'all, so we have a, a private shower. This is the pod. was going to happen so when I got to my float appointment I didn't tell y'all because it didn't matter at the time it kind of had to get pushed back because they was having problems blah 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 I could not be in McDonough and like not go see my dad because he lives out that way and I don't see him often because he lives so far so I was really rationalizing like do you really want to stop and go over there and I really did it because I knew this was going to happen it was going to push me back and delay me but I kept having this nudge to go and y'all know I'm being obedient and it wasn't like it was it was the when I try to check to see if I should do something do you have a nudge to do it does it serve the Lord to say something about the Bible by doing it honor your parents all that so I was like go you just gotta go you need to go so I stopped at my dad's house and then there was family over there so I ended up being there longer than I needed to blah 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 didn't get home to 5 30 so I roasted this garlic because <laughs> I am starving I was supposed to be home at like three o'clock tops but whatever I went to the store and got the pan for the bread and I got my Asti, which it isn't champagne. It's actually sparkling wine, but I love this stuff. It tastes so good. So I put the garlic in the air fryer, y'all. I don't even care what to do at this point. This is the third time I done tried this. I know it's gonna taste good anyway because it been tasting good. So I'm roasting or not roasting. I'm like warming up the bread now and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to eat this. Then I'm going to come in here and clean and get to the floor. Then I need to organize the bathroom and I need to do my hair. Now, I didn't tell y'all too much about the hair, but I am about to just go black, y'all. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do blue, royal navy, like a dark blue, or black, and I will do blue eventually. 
but I would have to bleach my hair a little bit to lighten it and I don't feel like doing all that. So I'm just gonna cut all the blonde off, dye it black, and I'm going to perm it so because I want my hair to lay down. I'm gonna go ahead and relax it. And I have to do all of that <laughs> and order my food. What did they say? Oh, it's six o'clock. They said that they're open to 10. So I knew, I don't want to stress. Like whatever get done, I didn't wash no clothes. Look, whatever get done, get done. Whatever don't, don't. Cause I'm we resting. We're not gonna do all that. Even if I didn't clean the house, it don't matter. It's gonna still be the new year. But I do want to at least get this floor cause it's disgusting. Plus my stepmom gave me some solution to make sure I get rid of the dog smell from when my brother's dog was here. Because I think Young is smelling him and he done, he peed on my floor. But anyway, my um, stepmom got me some Kayali for Christmas. I opened it. Um, it's the apple one. I already have this one, but I like this one. And it comes with a small one, which is cute. And I really want to know if she got it from Sephora because if she did, I sleep on a, um, like switch it out for another scent that I don't have. I think she did get this from Sephora. Anyway, um, and y'all, my daddy does this to irritate me because he know that it's checks over stripes. So every year for the past like two years, he been getting me Adidas stuff. And last year he got me like this Adidas little kind of like short set with a shirt and I kind of just wear it in the house. But this year he got me this sweatshirt and I can't hold you, I kind of like it. Like I kind of do. I hate that it's Adidas and I know he does that on purpose to irritate me. But I got that and then he got me um, this compass which is really cute that I like. Cause, and I was like, Dad, why'd you get me this compass? I didn't understand. But then it has this message in the inside that I thought was really, really cute. So it's like a little keepsake. I probably will never use this compass. It's just a keepsake. But it says to my daughter, wherever your journey in life may take you, I pray you'll always be safe, enjoy the ride, and never forget your way back home. I'm always here for you, little dad. So, yeah, I got that. I'm trying not to stress. It should be time to take this um, bread out. I hope this damn garlic got soft. Do y'all think this garlic got soft? So when the air fryer even said online, like to just leave it in there for 20 minutes, it looks a lot better. So I might've needed to do this the whole time. Even if it don't come out mushy, we've been eating whole garlic cloves on it anyway, so. But I'm tired of making this at this point. I have made this three times. Look, come on, garlic. Mm, it feel a little soft. Oh, yeah, it's soft. Y'all see it? Mushy now, it's not even coming out whole. Oh, we did it finally. This whole time, all I had to do was stick this crap in the air fryer. I know y'all so tired of seeing this. <laughs> but at least the garlic was spreadable this time. And to be honest with you, it don't make it taste no better. It was already good. It's still good. So garlic spread whole. Mm. This is good. Y'all, it's 8 o'clock. I had to go live with my group one last time for my uh, Intentional for 2024 challenge. So, like, yeah, that, that shit. Oh, my God. My day really got pushed back because I was not supposed to be gone all day. But we're going to let it go. Um, all I know is I'm about to do my hair right now. I'm going to clean that floor, and then I'm going to make me some banana bread, and then I'm going to order me some food. And I think that was all. I, I'm good anyway. I'm, I'm good like I didn't get to wash no clothes but girl whatever but the closet got done that was the main thing I think I'm good oh and I did on my DoorDash order y'all how about oh y'all the bathroom that shouldn't take long we could probably do that while oh I guess the color sitting on my hair because I'm like well I ain't like I'm bleaching anyway that shouldn't take that long we really just gonna have to hit that drawer and like up under this cabinet but um that hibachi, uh, the place, anyway, the food, I'm sorry, that I was talking to y'all about earlier. When I went on my DoorDash app, I actually did order from that place, and I ordered the hibachi plate, like, literally, the lack, because it tells you. That is so crazy, because uh, this was not intentional. I just remembered. This was not intentional. Look, the hibachi plate, and it literally tells you, y'all can't see it, but it literally tells you last order, 12-31-22. So that's exactly a year later, and I haven't even had it since then. That's crazy. Anyway, y'all. I'm about to cut my hair. Look at this. I don't have mean cutting to that. Look, all of the blonde fell out from right there. Because it broke off. Ain't that crazy? Like, I have a bald spot. 
that y'all didn't know for the longest because I was slicking it down. <laughs> so I'm not going to be blonde anymore. Not, no, just for now. Like, I'm going to go ahead and just let it be black and permanent because y'all know I like to do a little something new. And then uh, I'm going to go blonde again. And right when it's time to like bleach it again or something, I'm probably going to then go blue so that I won't have to... I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me not try to think too far in the future. I'm just now, I'm about to cut my hair the best that I can. Because y'all know this is literally now only my second time. Oh, let me take this off. I was say, I was like, do I have anything up under this so I can take this off? Because it's going to be hair everywhere. And then see, now the bathroom that is clean, it's going to have hair everywhere. Look, I don't know. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I wanted everything to be spotless, but it's 8 o'clock. I got to order my food in at least an hour and a half. I make my banana bread. <laughs> I know I overexerted myself and I'm doing too much, but I was not I was not supposed to be gone all day. Like, I was gone all day. Let me stop playing, because what if I really just would have? I don't remember. Look, I was about to say I don't remember what guard I used, but baby, the one with the hair all in it. <laughs> they got to be the one. And I, why am I scratching my hair like this? Knowing I'm finna have to put a perm in it. And I done washed my hair so much today because I got into that, um, y'all know, the spa thing is salt water. So I have shampooed my hair and washed it. Girl, I'm about to break a nail. Please don't. That hurt it. How the hell do I put this on? So y'all can tell I ain't touched. Oh, well, maybe if you take that off. So I wouldn't have cut my hair because it had a guard on it. Then you could put this one on. Lord, y'all can tell I ain't touched this since the last time y'all seen it. And I have these combs in here to pick this hair out. Why I tried to, y'all didn't catch me. That was me trying to do it with my hands. Yeah, I'm going to leave my hair back. Look, y'all, like, that is a bald spot. I don't even need to cut right there. Because all the blonde hair just went ahead and removed itself. I'll be happy not to be seeing blonde strands like falling out from me over processing my hair for a while because it'll be black. I don't know how long I'm going to leave it black. I'm not going to hold y'all to like it. It depends on how much I like it because what if I do it? Well, I can't absolutely just hate it because I mean my natural hair color ain't black, but damn near. Um, So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see like how long I feel like I can have it until I'm just like missing my blind. Here we go. Why I'm holding the mirror? We ain't doing the back yet. This is crazy to me every time I do this. Just cutting my hair. But then be happy when it's all gone. This is crazy. it up like I did last time I'm just gonna remember last time it was all broken up and I was just acting trifling we're not gonna do that it's actually been sitting out for a while so it should be like cooled and everything look I could have just took it all out and sliced it so I lied I am messing it up but <laughs> I lied mm -mm. I'm actually gonna take it out and slice it I promise I'm gonna leave it alone <laughs> Y'all, I would say that, remember how when I cut my blonde hair off that time and we had like specks of the blonde left, 
and it was in his natural state. And I was like, oh, this is the first time I seen my um natural hair color. Remember that? Well, technically, this ain't my natural hair color because I did have to put some dye on it because it did have like blonde specks. But I don't know how I feel about it because it looks weird because it's like I have black hair. Like it's different when I put a wig on than like I have black hair. Like this gonna have to grow on me. But anyway, ooh, yes, let me tell y'all. First, we got seven minutes on this memory card. So um I did I did everything. I got everything done except for the bathroom, um, the stuff in the drawer. But I'm sorry, y'all, like it is 10.30, uh-uh, I'm sorry. I did everything I could do. <laughs> um, but how about I was gonna go order my food and the, the it's two locations and the location is closer to me. I don't know why they stopped. I called them and they said that they was doing takeout. I mean, they said they closed at 10. So usually they stopped doing takeout orders like 15 minutes before. But I was looking at like 9.15 and it, it was like closed. But they have another location that was gonna deliver but then they wanted to charge me $7 to deliver and I was like, absolutely not. So I ended up just getting some, um, Chinese food, it ain't even nothing on what y'all time. It's literally just uh, sesame chicken and fried rice. So it's the closest thing probably to hibachi that I could have got. It's really good quality too. But we pretty much, we done. We done. So I'm about to pop my bottle of Asti. Here's to 2023, y'all. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. <sighs> y'all, last year when I was doing this, it was so different. I had like these high ass hopes and I was so excited. And now, after the year that I've had, I don't wanna say I'm not excited, but I'm more so kind of just like, mm, I guess. Not like, you know how you're giddy, like, oh my God, yay, new year. Yeah, no. I'm kind of just like proceeding with caution, but I'm happy. I guess it could be a lot worse. And at least I didn't have to start off my new year like in a bad place. Like how y'all know I was for the last six months. At least I'm going into the new year with like a clear mind and I'm somewhat content. I don't want to say like happy, but good spirits, I guess. So here's to 2024. We're gonna ask the Lord to order our steps in whatever will that you have for me in this year, Lord, let it be done. Why does that give me satisfaction to hear stuff popping? And this ain't even champagne or nothing. This is sparkling wine, but it is so good. So it's what I wanted. And I don't have a cork anymore. I forgot I never replaced it. I never replaced my French Bulldog cork that I broke. And I said that I was, and then it kind of like slipped my mind because I don't usually, first of all, I haven't been drinking wine at all like I used to. And then I don't usually do stuff that needs a, so we're probably gonna just have to go on here and kill this tonight. Ooh. All right, y'all. <laughs> I cannot believe my hair is black. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I holla. By the time y'all see this, is definitely 2024. So, have you had a great new year? Let's see what we got planned this year. Bring it on.